Hi, welcome to this video where I'm going to be taking some pictures on my reflection pool. I've titled this video The Pain of Wildlife Photography for two reasons. Firstly, it's really to show how long it's taken to get some images that I'm actually pleased with. I filmed it over two days and the second day I was sat in the hide for two hours waiting for something to happen. So the first bit of pain has been the frustration of just waiting and nothing happening. The second pain is a literal pain. On the first day in the hide I had a wasp nest and I was stung twice, but you'll find out more about that if you watch your video. things I'll do for this channel. I have had a wasp's nest in the hive for quite a while and I've lost track of how big it's getting. This is what it looks like now and I've just been into the hive to do the feeding as you've just seen and I've been stung twice so I'm gonna to have to be really careful this morning um, with the wasps um, so they don't attack me. As soon as I go near it they just swarm up so I'm gonna to have to be very careful. I have bought a water treatment to add to the reflection pool. It just keeps the algae down and just um, stops it from going green. So I put this in once a week. So today is the day that it's going in. This particular brand is safe for children, pets, birds and wildlife. So I did check that before I bought it. So I haven't filmed myself getting into the, the hide because of that wasp nest up there. So I came in very low, um, almost crawling, and they didn't seem to bother, so I think I'm safe. But one of the stings was right in between my eyes. Uh, it stopped hurting now, if you were concerned. Those wasps are making me quite nervous. I haven't shut the door yet. I'm just leaving it open. Um, I'm gonna try shutting it in a minute to see if that makes them worse or not. Ooh, who can tell? The door's shut and I think I'm safe. As long as I stay still, I would imagine that they won't bother me. So I'll just carry on and pretend they're not there. this is the first time you've visited the channel, don't forget to click like, subscribe and the bell notifications to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my future content. Now all the drama has calmed down with the wasps, um, I can concentrate on the photography again. But uh, at the moment nothing seems to be landing on the end of the reflection pool, so I just need to sit and wait for a bit longer. While I'm sitting waiting, I'll talk you through the settings that the camera is set on at the moment. Um, it's an aperture priority because I want to make the aperture as wide as possible and keep it there because it's quite cloudy outside. So I need to get as much light into the camera as I can. Um, I've also got um, the ISO set on 640, which is probably a little higher than I would like it, but this camera can cope well with that. Um, if I need to take the ISO higher, I'm quite happy to go up into as high as even 2000, but it does affect the quality of the picture. And with those settings at the moment, I'm getting a shutter speed of 1 200th of a second. So it's still okay for um, taking shots of the birds as long as they're fairly still. Typical, isn't it? I've got a really still day and I've got a great reflection on the pool. There's no birds want to land on it. So I've been sat here for half an hour now and I've not had any birds land on the end of the pool. I can definitely hear them. There's some starlings there feeding on the feeders, uh, but they're not, just not coming for a drink. When you watch um, nature programs on television, 
and um, you see them getting great shots of animals it just makes you realize how long they must have sat there waiting to get those few minutes or seconds of shots and still the water is like a mirror there's so little wind that the water is so flat all i need is just that shot of the bird on the end So I've got some nice artistic shots of rocks, but no shots of birds. And I think I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to call this session um, to a close because I can't sit on the floor for much longer and I'm still a bit bothered about those wasps as well. Um, so I'm going to have a break and then try again a bit later to see if I can get some shots of the birds on the end of the pool. See you soon. So I've left it a few hours and I'm back in the hide again now. Now while I was in the kitchen just looking at the reflection pool I saw loads of starlings on the end of the pool and as I was walking across the hide there was still a, there was still a robin and other birds there. Obviously now because I've come into the hide they've all flown off but hopefully before very long they'll pop back again. One advantage that I've got now at the moment because I'm slightly later in the morning it's just after half past ten the lights got a lot better. Now it's still overcast so I'm not getting direct sunlight but um, because it's brighter I've managed to keep the aperture at 5.6 but decrease the ISO down to 400 but it's giving me a thousandth of a second so I'm going to get much better pictures. <sighs> well I'm sure this video is starting to seem like watching paint dry um, I've sat here again for a while, I've still not seen anything and that's the way that it goes sometimes in bird photography. I'm sure if I wait long enough something will happen. Let me know down below in the comments, what's the longest that you've ever waited without seeing something? Frustrating isn't it? So you can see I've got a few birds now, um, but there's nothing that I would call a really super top-notch shot. Um, I'm still waiting to get that. Um, if you've stuck with the video this long, then rest assured there will be something that I consider decent because I'm not going to upload this video until I manage to get something. I might not get it in this session, but I'll have another go this afternoon. I'm determined to get something that's of a good quality. It's now three days since I first filmed. Um, I've had to wait this long because the afternoon of that first day, the wind picked up and the sun came out. So it just wasn't good for taking pictures on the reflection pool. The other two days I've been at work. So that today is the first day I've had chance to get back out again. And I've got an overcast day today and there's virtually no wind. So it's good conditions. So hopefully today will be the day when I get a decent shot. What I have done differently this morning is I've congregated the feeders around the end of the reflection pool. So as the birds come to feed, hopefully they'll be more tempted to jump across onto the end of the pool. And there, are, there is some food on the shelf at the end of the pool as well. So I've tried to stack the odds in my favour. Next would be to remove all but one of the feeders to just concentrate the birds in that area. But I'll see how I'll go with this idea first. That was a more difficult video to make. It's been quite frustrating. It's taken a couple of days to get some pictures that I'm actually pleased with. 
I still think there are better shots to be had. I'll have to take those on another day. I've got a few ideas about what I can do to the reflection pool just to improve it. It involves moving the feeders closer, opening the end up a little bit, but that's for another video. Thanks for staying with me throughout this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell notifications to get informed of all of my future content. Thanks for all the great comments I've received. I love reading them. Go and check out my other videos if you haven't already done that. But for now, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Oh, I can't speak. This is, this is bad, bad, it's bad. Da, 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 da. Oh, I might not get it in this sec sun came out so it just came out because it will oh, boom boom